In this video, I'm going to show how I use Deep Sky Stacker to process and stack uh, some comet images of the comet Lovejoy. I'll start by opening my program Deep Sky Stacker. And as you can see, I am using version 3.3.3. .3 .3. I'll start by opening my files, my image files. I'll click here. Go to the folder where I have my images. And I will select all of the light images I took of the Comet Lovejoy. Click open. Next, I will click on one of these images so my comet shows up I'll lighten up the preview a little bit this doesn't affect the image at all and there is the comet next I'm going to add my dark files so I'll go to the folder where I have my images Look for my, for my darks, select my dark images and click open. I don't have any flats or dark flats, so I'll, I'll select offset bias, go to the folder where I have my images and select all my bias files, click open. And I'm going to check here where it says check all. That way all my images I just loaded are checked. Next I'll click on register selected pictures. And I want to uncheck this box here where it says uh, stack after registering. I don't want to stack yet. And these other options I'm using. These are the options for the bias. I'll keep these settings. And I'll select the TIFF files. Okay, and now we're ready. I'll click OK and I'll start the uh, registering process. It will take a while, so I'm going to speed up the video a bit. Okay, now it's done registering all the images and it has given each image a score. So I'm going to sort the images by highest score on top. And I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to uncheck any images that are below 10. Because those are most likely images that have a, some kind of tracking error. So now I have those unchecked. Everything that is less than 10. And now I'm going to select the first image, the highest scoring image. And I'm going to click on the comet feature on the Deep Sky Stacker. This green star with a tail, that's the comet feature. Now I'm going to with my uh, mouse wheel, I'm going to zoom in to the comet. I'm going to hold down the shift key and select the center of the comet manually. And I'm going to do that for every image that, uh, except for the ones that I unchecked. I'll zoom in with the mouse wheel. I'll hold down shift and I'll select the center of the comet. 
I'm going to speed up the video again while I select uh, the rest of these images. Okay, that was the last uh, light image because the rest have a score below 10. So I'm not going to select the comment on those. So now I'm going to go up and just double check that each image has the comment selected. So you should see a uh, purple or magenta circle around the comment. Going to speed up the video again. Okay, now that all my images have the comet selected, I'm going to click on Stack Checked Pictures and click on Stacking Parameters. And I'll be using the standard mode here and check this one here and on the comet tab we have three options and I'll be using the uh, comet stacking option right now this option will stack or align all the images uh, by using the comet and not the stars so all the stars will virtually disappear but the comet will be nice and sharp and for lights I'll keep the, the same uh, configuration I had before same thing for the dark and the bias so I'll go back and make sure my comet is checked and I'm going to go ahead and start the uh, stacking process again this will take a while so I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video Okay, now that it's done stacking the images, the final stacked image of the comet will be shown here in the preview window. I know the video quality is not that great, but there's a comet. And I'm going to move uh, the graph here to close to the up curve on the, on the graph. So I'm going to drag this bar over a little bit to the right and hit apply and it'll lighten up the image to where you can see the comet better and you can see some of its tail. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image. by clicking the save to file I'm going to give it a name I'm going to call it Lovejoy Comet 4 and I uh, do not want to uh, apply the changes that I made to the image I just want to save it the way it is and I'll make sure it's a uh, fits file and click save
Okay, now that I've saved my comet stacked image, I'm going to do the star stacking. I'm going to click here on the stack checked uh, pictures and click here and my configuration will be the same except here I'm going to select standard so it will stack reference the stars and the comet will be ignored the settings for the light stay the, stay the same I'm not going to change it so make sure that standard stacking is selected hit OK and OK again and let it, it do its processing and I'm going to speed up the video one more time Okay, now it has finished uh, processing and stacking the images, and now this is the res result we get. I'm going to move the, the graph over to the curve of the, of the histogram and hit apply. This will lighten the image, and now you can see we have stars in our image, but the comet looks kind of strange and it has no tail. And that's fine, that's that's what I want because in the next video I'll be combining both images to create a single image. So now our stars look good, nice and round. So I'm going to go ahead and save this image. Again, I don't want to apply the changes and I'm going to call it Lovejoy Star 4. And do not apply the changes and hit save and that should be it for this uh, deep sky stacker tutorial for comets be sure to watch the next video where I will process and combine both images using uh, star tool software Thanks for watching.